How can business owners show their employees that they appreciate them, that they value them, that they're important to them? The answer is so simple it might surprise you. How can business owners show their employees that they appreciate them, that they value them, that they're important to them? The answer is so simple it might surprise you. But the second question on this one is is, is concerning motivation. Uh, how can a business motivate their employees uh, to a level to where they, um, in the workplace, where they just enjoy being there and they're engaged in their work? That answer may exhaust you due to its complexity. So let's ask the question, why does a company even em em employ others? Why does a company hire other people? Well, there's so many reasons, but maybe it's because the company has a problem that can only be fixed by a certain specific type of person, a specialist uh, type of person that they need to hire. Uh, it might be because um, hiring a person is cheaper than other alternatives that might be out there. But at the bottom line, the reason why companies hire is because they know they can't grow without people. They know they can't go to the next level. They can't scale without hiring other people. And uh, once uh, uh, you have an employee, you learn really quickly that um, they already come pre-motivated. It, 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 we're never trying to motivate a person. They're already motivated, but what we have to learn as business owners is that we have to um, correct the uh, the trajectory of their motivation. There are when they come to work, they're motivated to go home. When they when they come to work, they're motivated to go on break. Uh, when they come to work, they're motivated to um, you know the go to the bathroom or whatever it is. They already come pre motivated, but we have to adjust that motivation to where we can get the optimum amount of work accomplished. That and that can be difficult. How is that done? Well, I think there's four ways. And I'll shoot them through you really quickly, and then I'll give you a word about appreciation. First, let's talk about the uh, the the exhausting subject of motivating our employees. How do we motivate them to get engaged to do their best work on the job? Well, first of all, they need to have a sense of belonging, and that's about community. That's a community component. The the team that we hire, they need to feel like they belong there. The second thing uh, has to do with training. You got to provide them the best amount of training to where they can feel that they're really good. Confidence comes from knowing, and if they're confident on the job, it's because mastery has been accomplished in training. So the training component is so big, the sense of belonging is so big because it builds community and it builds mastery on the job. And there's a third component that I feel is 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 very important to where you get the right kind of engagement and they're properly motivated. Is that you've you've placed them where they fit the best. In other words, uh, like uh, Jim Collins talks about having them on the right bus, but they've got to be in the right seat if they're the right person. So the right person on the right bus in the right seat is going to do their best work. And that involves freedom, giving them the freedom to be where they're going to do their best work. And the last component of this involves impact. And basically what you're doing here is you're instilling within them that what you do and what they do with you in the company is bigger than themselves. What you're doing as a company is bigger, it's larger than just you. Uh, what, you're, what they do for you in that company makes a huge difference and that leads to impact. So you gotta have these four. So if you wanna have them properly motivated and engaged, then you're gonna have to build a right community. You're gonna have to train them towards mastery. You're gonna have to have them, they're gonna have to have freedom to, to work uh, where they do their best work in the in the job and they're also gonna have to feel like they're making a difference that they're making an impact <clears throat> but even though you get all of that right how can we show that level of appreciation for them here's how and you're not gonna like it it's so simple pay them what they're worth I know it sucks but that's what you gotta do you gotta pay them what they're worth because truly they are worth it they're helping your business scale to the next level and as you grow and you you make more money you need to pay them what they're worth salary is not just a carrot to be dangled in front of the faces of our employees that's not that's the wrong way to look at salary wages are actually the symbol of how much you value those people so pay them what they're worth pay them according to how much you value them. And if you're paying them low, they know you're valuing them low. You get the wage rate right, and they're gonna feel appreciated. You get the wage rate wrong, and they're gone.